Hey friends, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you some engine rebuilding tips for your Kohler K Series 301 for 12 horsepower. Okay. Now on this engine here, I've taken out the uh, balance gears. These are the balance gears here. They call them the grenade gears because what happens is they go bad and they'll blow a hole right through. They'll blow a hole right through your case. When I was tearing this apart, okay, see that thunder? When I was tearing this thing apart, that upper pin there, I couldn't get the gear off. It was like peened. Okay? So this motor was probably just getting ready to grenade when it went. Just the valve stuck. Okay? So you want to take those off. They're right here. Take them. Pitch them in a scrap barrel, okay? There's the spacers and all that for underneath the pins and the gears. Take all that off so nothing falls. Okay, when you're installing this crankshaft here, this is the plate. I know I put this thing together because I didn't have much time. Five minutes here, five minutes there. But to establish the end play on the crankshaft, they give you these gaskets. Come four in a pack. Okay. Now you're going to want to experiment. You want to just. I put three gaskets on this. I put two of these, the black one, and I tightened it. I tried it. Right here, I don't need a dial indicator. I can feel probably about. There's probably about five thousandths. The spec is two to twenty thousandths end play, so this is perfect. And when you get this part, I wrote down some, uh, if you can read that, I wrote down some of the uh, gasket depths. The one gasket was nine thousandths, the white one, and when I tore it apart, it was about thirty-five. It's a good idea to do that and experiment with it. When you tighten this put this plate on here, just, just snug it just a little, not torque it down, just snug it a little bit and try it. The crankshaft goes clink, 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 too much play. You to take gaskets off until you get the desired end play, okay? Another tip. Now, I'll replace the piston in this engine, and if you can see that wear there, okay? your piston wears like that, you want to replace it because it's going to screw your uh, cylinder walls up. Plus these rings were wore out too. So When you install this piston, this piston can go this way or that way because there's no arrows. And why I put that arrow up there? See that hole? That's the oil hole. That goes towards the cam gear. Now I use the factory rod because I was reading things about the aftermarket rods and the replacement. They were having problems with the bolts coming loose. See the oil hole down there? You want that right towards the cam gear. You install that in your cylinder to make it a little easier on yourself. Put that arrow that hole is so when you install it you know where you're putting it okay yeah they've been having problems with these because this torque here is 260 on these bolts used bolts is 200 but the factory one on this this is 76 engine but the factory torque on this is um, 285 inch pounds Okay, that's why I'm using this rod. It looked really, really good. I figured why replace it. Okay, when you're installing, I forgot to show you this, but down here I marked the, the, the cam gear and the crankshaft with a yellow marker. Those are the timing marks, so when you slide that crankshaft in there, you want to line the marks up so everything lines up perfectly. Alright, there's the cylinder walls on this. Pistons installed. New valves, they were burnt really, really bad. Let me show you the intake valve. 
you can see that intake valve it's all it's all burned up really really bad cool thing about these motors if you can see in there these are adjustable you want this side's the intake a little better you now the intake side is eight to ten thousandths play for clearance exhaust is seventeen to nineteen thousandths so a little bit of tips there for you on the intake and if you can read that it's a nine thousandths feelers gauge okay Slide that in there. Oh, baby. Slide that in there. It's pretty good. It's exactly what you want. How you adjust them, you can see it in there. Little, uh, there's a nut. The top one is 7 sixteenths, and on the, uh, lifter here it's half inch so you just turn that until you get the desired uh, clearance on your valves until next time keep on rocking